YouTube, what's going on today, man? Hey, listen. Today we're talking about the best Call of Duty Warzone Black Ops Modern Warfare Sniper. Now, ever since the DMR got nerfed, everyone's been looking around asking, what's the best sniper? What's the best sniper? And if I'm gonna be honest, the best sniper in the game is the Bear 50 Cal, but we're gonna save that for a whole new video. Today we're talking about the LW3 Tundra, and I'm gonna give you the best attachments to get you going from this... ...to this. So we're gonna jump right into the class setup that you're gonna need to dominate in the sniping field. All right guys, so first things first, you gotta buy Call of Duty Cold War if you wanna play the game. If you don't have Call of Duty Cold War, it's $60. If you don't have $60, I don't know, make it OnlyFans or something. And if you do have Call of Duty Cold War and you paid $60, I'm sorry for you, man. I didn't pay for this game. I mean, they literally paid me to play it. Like, that's... Th this game's shit. So get all over on Call of Duty Cold War Multiplayer. Go over to your weapons and create a class. So today's all about the LW3 Tundra. You don't need to pay attention to any of the class I have right here. I see so many people on this game using the gun completely wrong. Like they have the wrong setup, the wrong attachments. Just fuck all that. I spent four hours getting you guys the best attachments for this gun for fire rate and damage range. Three of those four hours were just picking the suppressor to use. I couldn't decide. So going over to the Tundra, you make sure you want to run Gunfighter so you have all the attachments you need. This is the base Tundra. I mean, it's pretty shit. You don't want to use this thing. I mean, look at that. What? 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 Look at that. Optic, I see so many people using the normal sniper scope. You don't want to use the normal sniper scope. It just doesn't give you enough range. The best optic for this, you go all the way down, you got the ultra zoom. If you read it, it's a high power Russian scope that gives you 20 times magnification. 20 times magnification. I don't care if you're playing Nuketown or Crossroads 12v12. This is gonna reach out and touch somebody. Not in that aspect though. I'm talking about the game. First things first, ultra zoom. I mean, look at that thing. It's already a beast. We're already getting better. Next is the muzzle. Like I mentioned earlier, I spent three hours depending on the sound moderator or the rap suppressor. Go with the rap suppressor. It's the last one you unlock. It's better. For those of you who don't say you need a suppressor, let me tell you something. When you're out there sniping and getting all these kills, you know, people cross the map. With the suppressor, you don't show up on the radar. I don't care if these enemies call in a radar, heart, Blackbird, Whitebird, Bluebird, it doesn't matter. You're never showing up on the map. Same for Warzone. You're never going to show up on the map with this class setup. Over to the barrel. I see so many people rock the Tiber team. I don't know if you guys know this, but the attachments on Cold War are broken. None of these attachments work. They all say they do something different. Instead of the Tiger team for plus 20 damage and fire rate, you got to go with the Calvary Launcher. 500 Vehicle damage, baby. You're gonna be sniping choppers out of the air. And I understand they don't have choppers in the game on Cold War, but what if they add them? Then you can snipe them. So go with the Calvary Launcher. You gotta have it. The body. Everyone else is rocking the Tiger team. Fuck all that. What you need is the soft target distance. You can reveal distance across any map. Under barrel is a big one. Most people rocking bipod, bruiser grip, no, blah, blah, blah. The patrol grip is where it's at. You sprint six times faster. Six times sprint speed. You're gonna be zipping around the map. You won't even know what's coming. Magazine, you gotta go. You gotta go with the speed loader. This thing reloads and has more max capacity. Speed loader all the way, baby. For the handle, everyone's talking about the airborne's the fastest, blah, blah, blah. You gotta go with the field tape. Plus 90 flinch resistance. You're never gonna flinch. You won't even blink. You're just gonna scope in. Boom. Last but not least, the stock. Duster pad increases slide speed. You gotta go with the duster pad. After you got all these attachments, throw on your favorite camo. I mean, I gotta go with my favorite one. And there you have it, boys. That is the best sniper in the game. You will get so many clips. Once you have these attachments and everything maxed out, you're gonna be going crazy on snipers only. Go into snipers only, play your first game. I know none of you believe me. Play your first game and then tweet at me your final score. I guarantee you're going positive. This is the best class setup and it's literally broken. For some reason, all these attachments combined makes the game literally break. I, I don't even know. And it's just not my game that's broken. It seems like everyone's game is broken. I keep on seeing videos about broken guns and broken this, broken that. I think the game's just broken. So yeah, try these attachments out. It works for me. It increases ADS speed, and I'll even show you guys some clips with me hitting it with this class setup. Oh yeah, look at it. Oh my God, look at that. Look how fast that is. Oh yeah, baby, let's go. I'm telling you, man, this is the best class setup. Just look at it here. I'm just going off, man. Fucking crazy right now. So yeah, guys, if this video gets 150 likes, I will drop the Barrett 50 count class setup for the most broken Barrett in the game. If you guys think this one's overpowered, wait until you see the Barrett. Doug Sensor Martin will be begging for a Barrett nerf after I release this class setup video. 150 likes. 
and I'm going to release a class setup video. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Boosters.